we are going to see the usage of uh, jump for computing confidence interval for one mean. So here in this list, we have, uh, let's look at this variable, this SBP subscore 50, which is containing systolic blood pressures of, uh, at the age of 50 of 200 subjects. Okay, so what do we do here? We go to analyze, go for distribution. Okay, this is the column that we are interested in. Let's click on it. All right, so here it is. And uh, before going ahead, you know, it's, it's a very good idea to look at the picture of what we are dealing with. All right. And uh, you can see that here the data it has a very strong tail to the right hand side. But we have how many? We have 200 subjects in here. All right. And it's already giving us the, you know, 95% uh, confidence interval here for the, uh, you know, for the lower limit and the upper limit of this uh, systolic blood pressure level based on this sample. But again, since we have 200 subjects in our sample and the sample size is large, and so for this particular population, we can go ahead and uh, use this procedure. Or if you want uh, one more particular information, or you can here also change uh, the confidence level and it should give us the confidence interval at the, okay, excuse me. And here is your confidence interval with the lower limit and the upper limit indicated. All right. And here I'm just going to uh, spec specify again what the lower and the upper limits are. Okay. So here you go. And right here is your confidence interval. All right for a 99% confidence interval for the mean systolic blood pressure level of all the individuals at age 50 from such a population uh, in the millimeters of mercury, okay?